Well, Levi Jeffries here from Levi's TDIs. Uh, this is uh, Volkswagen Golf 05 I'm working on with the BEW. Changing the turbo actuator. I uh, wanted to show you how I got around kind of a difficult problem. Um, the turbo actuator, as you know, cannot be replaced separate of the turbo, uh, according to Volkswagen. Uh, you can put a VNT 17 turbo actuator on it, though. And so there's a bolt here and a bolt right up here on the top that holds this mounting plate on. They're very, very difficult to get out and they break quite frequently, even with heat and penetrating well. So I basically, this is very tedious, fairly time consuming, but less so than removing the turbo. So I just sliced it with a grinder, cut around it, cut off the um, shaft going up to the, to the veins and was able to grind uh, drilled out some of the spot welds that I could see um, was able to get it off drilled out the or cut off the rivets with a Dremel and so once that's all done which takes a while but it's worth it uh, you just have to drill two holes one here and one here this one drills pretty easy this one's pretty hard uh, I used the Dremel with like a very small abrasive wheel to kind of just pinpoint where I wanted to start the drill um, it walked off on me uh, quite a bit so once I got a little hole I used a carbide bit and a roto zip and just finished the hole out where I wanted it and now it fits real good so if you have those tools that's definitely a way to get around that um, let me show you the actuator here Here's the new VNT17 actuator. Um, I have the pivot end off of it here and the nut because I don't need those anymore. These are the chopped up pieces off of the uh, Borg Warner actuator. As you can see, it's uh, in bad shape. It was leaking vacuum a lot. This is the longer shaft off of the Borg Warner turbo actuator the Garrett's actuator rod is shorter so after looking at it I believe I should have to cut it about here I'll, I'll measure it and make sure and then attach it to this end I'm gonna weld it um, some people have JB welded nuts together and done it that way but I don't really want to use epoxy especially on somebody else's vehicle so I'll cut that and weld that on and it'll bolt right up the same as anything um, then the heat shield, um, just drill those rivets out. I'm probably not going to drill them, I'll probably grind them off and put either self tapping screws or little nuts and bolts to hold the heat shield on. And once that's done, it all should, should work good and save you quite a bit of money. Thanks. Okay guys, here it is. I've got it welded right here. Uh, nice strong weld. It's stainless steel so you got to be real careful not to heat it up too much otherwise you'll just melt it away I had that trouble a little bit got a nut on here uh, obviously you have to take that off before you put it in a couple of nuts on here to attach it the dust shield you'll need just a you can either reinstall rivets or I'm probably just going to use some bolts and nuts this is this is just my work this is I do it to glorify God as much as I can and to honor him in it and just know that Jesus loves you and the gospel is very simple. It's not complicated. It's simply just repenting of your sins and putting your faith in Jesus Christ. And if that faith is genuine, it'll be proved by what you do. So, be blessed. Thanks. Alright, last video up in here. Um, actuator's all installed. Hook up a vacuum pump to this port right here. The actuator should start moving at around 3 to 5 inches of vacuum and be bottomed out at um, 18 to 22 so I set it somewhere in that range I got mine set at 4 moving at 4 to uh, stopped at 19 to 20 plug in your electrical connector you have to cut this a little bit shorter um, I use little bolts and nuts to attach the heat shield and then you'll need to test drive it and use VCDS or something where you can graph the requested boost versus the actual boost and if it's not boosting enough or too late you'll need to shorten shorten it or make the rod move sooner or you know move make the uh, 
turbo vanes move sooner. And if it's too much boost, you need to move, make them move later. So you move the two nuts out on the rod and in on the rod if it's not getting enough boost. So that's how you do it.